Alright, I'm sorry I had to pause you. Um, we had to, we never did find them. Alright, I found what I needed. Okay, so how we're going to do this is you're going to turn it sideways. You're going to put your one lid at the bottom. And the other one sideways. So I am going to E6000 it all in the middle right here. Okay. And then I am going to place a little bit of hot glue on the outer edge. Do not let them touch because then they will not combine. But I need a forever hold and then I need an instant hold. So we can work on it as the E6000 tries. Push a little tightly on it. Hold it for a minute. Put that one aside while you do the same to your second one. And these would make great decor in your own kitchen. Or you can make these as a gift for someone. Or you could sell them at the craft shows. Which I'm still trying to find out about that. Alright, so you're going to hold on to that one as well. Okay, and we're going to push that one aside. And then we're going to take our lids. Do I touch, touch the, trust the hot glue? Yeah. So you can paint them or you could use ribbon and I'm trying to find my ribbon here. So we got blue here. Got all kinds of ribbon actually. one and my hat to these is a gray so I think gray and white and so isn't the scarf and if you don't know we are making snow mint so since it is gray and white I think I'm gonna use the silver glittery ribbon I got some moving somewhere So you're going to place it on your lid, add a little bit of hot glue, and then wrap it around, hot glue, you know, here and there, not a whole lot, just a little dab. Alright, so then we're going to take it to the end, put a little dab of hot glue. Glue. 
And you could paint your lid or you could leave it and then just add. Because nobody is actually going to see the bottom of these snowmen. And the glitter does go everywhere, just to let you know. And I do not personally like glitter a whole lot. I only like it at Christmas time. Just because I like the way it shines with the lights. But other than that, I do not really care for glitter. Especially when it falls all over your house. I'm doing it like this because I do not want it to come loose or, you know, because it is a little bit wider than your lid. And I'm only doing the bottom ones. So, um, we're not going to put none on the top lid and I will show you why in a second. fuzzy sock and I'm just going to do the same thing as I did to the bottom lid I'm going to turn this inside out just so I can stick my hands in it and place it in the glue and this way this it won't flop up on you. I'm gonna see if I can get it. <coughs> I'm gonna add a little bit more glue right here. So I get there we go. Okay. And then you're going to scrunch it all up. And I'm going to use my hot glue gun to uh, get it all to bundle together. Watch your hands because it does get hot. You know, you are messing with hot glue and it goes right through the um, material. You don't want to burn your fingers. Now, I made it look like a little toboggan. Don't worry, we're going to put a little ball. Okay, the magical of filming. Ta-da, I got the balls. And I also got the twine. Alright, so. I'm going to tie this string around it just because I do not trust the hot glue to stay permanently. Double knot it. And then I'm going to cut my excess tails off. I'm going to take one of these snowballs. Now this is too big, so I'm going to cut it. Oh, 
right where my uh, hot glue is. Let me place it on there real quick. And when you cut it in half, be careful because it does fall apart. So now what I'm going to do is kind of like put one together on this. If I can get it to stay. I'm making a mess, I believe. I'll get it here in a minute and it won't look funky. Let it dry for a second and then I'm gonna cut these little fuzz balls off. Glue off my hand. That didn't work. <coughs> Alright, so it's still coming out cute. Alright, so we're going to put the lid on it. Now this one was a piece of one. This one, I cut the top off of the sock. And now I'm going to trim up the heel off of it. Do the same thing. I'm going to put some glue around it to get it started. Take my hands inside of it so I can flip it. So I'm going to lay it, not flip it, in it. Okay, we're going to let it dry for a sec. You're going to repeat the whole thing. A little bit of glue, place the hat. A little bit of glue, then place the hat. That way you're not getting glue everywhere for one and making a mess like I tend to do with hot glue. Watch your fingers, because the metal, the aluminum, does get warm. Alright, now this one has got, you can make a little pom-pom out of this. Kind of spread it out. And then you're going to take a piece of twine. Not a big piece, it's big enough to... Form a knot. And then you're going to double knot it. That's what they're looking like so far. Now, I am going to decide if I'm going to make it thinner. But I do need to make it longer. So I'm going to cut the tag off. my finger and I'm going to turn it on the other side because that needs all right so 
And now, let me see. Right now I'm just cutting it straight down and I will straighten it out in a sec. I just want to see if I got it long enough, but I know I don't want it this wide. I will be thinning it up. that long. Alright, now let me measure this so I can get oh, I'm just going to do the same thing I just did. This one I'm not going to make as wide. This is wide enough. Alright, so let's straighten this out just a tad. Because as you see, we do got some edges here that's a little bit wider than what the whole other piece is. And then we're going to cut the bottom like fringes match the other side and we're only going to do three this one has actually got one and a half let's get it over and we're going to cross it and make this stay we are going to use a little bit of hot glue in the back just a tad. Don't want it to spread all over your piece here. itself to crisscross it and then we're going to put some about right here to hold it to hold it in place right here and yes we are going to trim up the bottom portion of the scarf so it's not laying on your counter okay, here is one we're going to trim this fix the barness of this We're going to do the same thing. You're going to repeat the steps on your second one as you did the first one. Cross it over, turn it around. A little 
bit of hot glue. there. mind handing me the marshmallows and the hot chocolate. There is a full bag of marshmallows. I just bought a full bag. Alright, so you're going to unscrew your lid and on the top part you are going to dump marshmallows in it. Well, there went my lid and my marshmallows all over the table. That's why I don't get why that too much for the E6000. If any time I use it, this is what happens. And I might have to make another scarf. Okay, I'm sorry about that. I had to pause you so I could get my mess cleaned up. Alright, so we are going to make another scarf. I re-glued it off camera. I didn't think you guys needed to see that again. I'm going to turn it over and these would be a cute little Christmas gift one of these are going to be a Christmas gift and I'm sorry for that noise in the background that is Jeremiah turning his feet in his crocs um, thinking he's funny alright so we're going to hot glue it a different way so, because I'm not, I'm going to do a little bit right there, because I wanted it set a different way. There we go. Now we're going to make the cutest little faces. Okay, so... Now, the next step you want to do is the face. You could do it two different ways. You could paint on it, or you could use um, the vinyl from the Dollar Tree and just cut out the circles. Um, I'm going to try to paint them on. Um, I don't know how well that's going to do because I like to paint, but... I don't know how to paint, and I think that brush is going to be a little too flimsy. I like a brush that I can control, not something that's going to flop around. 
All right, so we are going to take my black paint here and my orange and a little bit of my white. And because it is glass, I'm also going to put the silver on it just so it don't chip off. I'm really scared to do this, so bear with me. Ooh, this looks really watery on here. Make a circle. I don't care for this way. Not on glass, not with this water base um, paint, apple barrel. It's good paint, but I don't think it should be gla on glass. And I did not purchase any of the chalk paint yet so I think I'm going to use vinyl okay so I went and got some vinyl um, I'm just going to take a little piece off this sheet of vinyl We just want to cut out a circle, and I really am not good at cutting out circles well either. I'm going to try to. Moving it out here. Got the eyes cut out. And let's see. I got a pillow here. Let's see how, how this looks. Got to be better than. Uh, I will pick up a small bottle of the Waverly. Shot in black so we could test it out. And you could put a little bow on top, a little bell, I'm going to put a little bell or something, greenery. So let's try for the mouth here.
No, that really just did not work. I'm going to do a straight line and then curve it. I think I might be able to do it that way. But we will... And I'm only going to do one of the faces on camera because I do have other DIYs that I want to get through on this video. Time on it just... I don't want it just a straight line. I want it to curve. So, back to the drawing board. You want to cut me a mouth out? I am having difficulty and my hand is cutting out the mouth. I know a nose is supposed to be orange. Is that orange or red? I guess it could be. It's orange. It can be both. Well, yeah. I am going to have it. Sorry if I need y'all. Did you or moved you or something? <laughs> yeah, it's about what I've been doing. Right. I can't get this thing on. Can't. Hang on. Hand me the pencil. Okay. Before you stick that on. You heard me, right? Before you stick it on, hang on. I'm going to see if um, we can draw one out and then cut it. was in the back of it I drew the nose so I could cut it out that way I'm not freehanding a nose and now I'm going to try to do the mouth the same way take this little nose Like backing off of it, part that protects the stickiness. getting it but it kept getting back on it all right so we're gonna put the little nose about here here we go now let's see if we get a mouth one that we could uh be proud of
Now, if I can get it cut out like that, we will be in there. Amaya, I can hear you breathing all the way over here. Well, this is the best that I'm going to get it. Here we go. I'm going to make me some little eyelashes. For both sides of the eyes. Want them both to be about the same size as well. We're going to do these eyelashes and then we're moving on to the next project. Well, I think I lost my other one that I... Oh, there it is. Nope, that's the paper off that one. I literally just had it sitting right here. But I can make another one. Here it is. Yeah, now we're going to peel this one and we're going to stick it on there as well. And then we're going to move on to the next project. So you could um, get a spoon, tie it with a tag with the recipe of a hot chocolate mix using milk or water and put it on the little tag and give it to somebody for a gift. I am doing that to one of these, giving it to a gift. But no, I don't like these on there. So I am going to remove them. And we're just going to leave the eyes as is. There we go. 
Alright, so tell me what y'all think about this. I think it's adorable. Let me put the bells on them. Like I said, we will... Um, I would do the face to that one off camera. And it ain't no sense, but you guys see me doing both when we got other DIYs we got to do. Put a little bit of hot glue and glue a bell to the end of the pom pom. I think bells are cute for the holidays. I don't know. I just. And then you could do a ribbon and put it on its neck. Um, I may do that off camera, but right now I think we're going to move along to the next project. Let me leave these dry. There we go. We moved them out along because I didn't have them tall once. All right, so the second project we are doing is uh, I bought this in Halloween, and as you can see, that the paper comes right off of here. So I am going to use this for a Christmas. Um, project. Can you get me a rag of water for a moment? Am I please? Sure. And I'm going to rip and I'm just going to wet this with a rag so it could be easier for me to scrape off. Take my little scraper Sorry if I mouth a thing, but we had a spray bottle with water in it, you could do it a lot better, which I thought we had one. Will you hand me some water, please, in, the, in our mug? Yeah, that's it doesn't matter. This is the worst thing you could use to, to do this is a plastic um, blade. And I don't know where my actual scraper scrapers are. So I'm just going to kind of like soak this. too wet because I don't want it to ruin in my board but this should be good easier to come off but because my blade is plastic I got to put a little bit of more muscle into it and once you get it started as you can see it well that's why I wasn't even using the blade it literally come right off of there all right
And it also clears off all that old glue from the first image that was put on this piece of board. I will find my other scraper as well. I don't know where it is at the moment. Okay, so um, I paused it so I could finish sanding it or scraping it. Now I'm going to sand it just to get any excess extra glue or paper that's on there. And as you can see, there was a bunch of glue still left over. got that sanded. Now we are going to modify. I found this pretty Santa Claus napkin at the Dollar Tree. And to me, I just, I don't know, it reminds me of old school Santa. So I had to do a craft with you today. So I'm going to make a a sign stand that we can put on our tear tray. Okay, and this is the Santa. Pretty napkin. You get two images, and one should be perfect on this board. So, what I'm going to do is save that other image for another DIY. Because I thought about doing something else with him as well. And then... And it don't have to be perfect because you are going to sand it. And I'm going to just go ahead and take him off of that as well. And then there is another piece of paper that is behind the napkin. <laughs> you want to dispose of that. That's no good to us. If I could get it removed. I keep forgetting to get my tape out so I could. Here we go. These ones normally only have one. The very good napkins have two. Okay, I'm gonna flip them over and get our brush out. This poor brush. I do clean my brushes out as soon as I'm done, but this is glue. Okay, we're just going to um, squirt some on. At the beginning, I am going to go halfway down with it, and that way I could slowly take my time so I don't mess the, the napkin up, like rip it. to 
take our napkin. We are, I fold mine upwards just so I can get it on there evenly. Because once it's down, you really do not want to pull up on it. And yes, I got this red trim to be pretty on one side. And I have a sponge, but I left it in the closet and I just, time on my second or third DIY, I'm done with that closet. I just don't want to go back in there and get any more. Um, projects out. Got enough ready on the tape. Okay, so this is, we're going to set this aside and let it dry. Why this is drying, um, Emily off of Farm Charm Crafts. I'm just going to say crafts. No, it's Farm Charm Something, but you guys know what, who I'm talking about, I hope. I seen her do this um, on her video, and that was really, really cute. So I thought I would give it a try. Um, she had a crocodile. I do not have a crocodile. I have a regular hole puncher. So I'm going to try to... Ah, nope. All right, I got another one just in case I messed up. We're going to make sure we're downwards. I'm only going to put one hole in it to hang it. She put two, I believe. I'm only going to do one. Okay, this I will use for my paint. She also made an ornament. I am making a wall decor. So the first thing we want to do is paint our little stand thingy here gray. And we do have to sand it because it is really a shiny soft plastic and I wish I had chalk paint for this but it's all right we will get it just make sure your pieces are sanded I'm gonna try to take all that shininess away from it get down into the eggs part of it also do the back Do the egg part as well. This makes the paint hold on a little bit more better. Now I'm looking at our napkin, making sure that it's All right, now we are going to take a rag to clean all that plastic off of the tray itself. I am going to try to make this look like a muffin pan. And then I'm going to stick these cute little gingerbread from the ornament section that's on these uh, aluminum thingies. I'm gonna take them off of there. So, see, she made hers look like a really, really old, really nice um, ornament. I don't know how to quite make 
that rusty look yet. A morning house. So this, I really just don't want to mess up. I just want it to look like a regular muffin pan. So I'm gonna flip it over by the front part. I gotta get new paint. I got funky strings in my paint. All right, so we're gonna paint the back as well, and then we're gonna let that set and dry because you do have to paint it several coats. And if my spray paint, and if it went cold and rainy, I would take it outside and spray paint it. If you have that option, that would be your best bet. Is to do a couple coats with the spray paint. Alright, so we're going to let this part rest for a moment. And then we're going to check out our... It's drying, and I have lots and lots of wrinkles in it, but it's not quite fully dry, and I don't want to mess with it quite yet. So why the two are drying, we are going to go ahead and pop our gingerbread men off of the ornaments. Which I could have swore I have already used these. I think I got some I have already opened. It's okay. So I'm going to do a, a girl and a boy. Little girl and a little boy. You're just going to take your scraper and get up underneath there so you could pop them up underneath that glue so you could pop them off of there. And it's coming but there we go. And mine broke but it didn't break all the way. She's still usable. I got to find my metal scraper. It will work so much better than this plastic. This plastic one is get used for a couple other ones. Good things, but not these, unfortunately. Okay, I'm trying to get the nail off of there. I want to use it as well, along with that joy, but I believe that that one broke. That joy also broke. Right. Got a couple more here I could try to pop off of there. Okay, that one came right on off. Easy. Got that one. I can't get this joy. I will try the piece. There we go. We got the piece off. Really easy. Right, so we're going to just pop these right back in here. When I get to that closet this week, get everything organized again, I will take it back out. And then I'm going to use these. Because if we got enough time, I was going to do the tree. And I don't think we're going to have enough time on this video. So, on happiness for Jennifer, she always makes these, um, oh, they look like marshmallow faces. She makes them adorable. But she puts, what in the world? These, these are confetti balloons. They are not white balloons. Alright, so I may not be able to do this one today because these balloons are not what I wanted. And 
they got confetti in them. So, I mean, yes, I'm able to take the confetti out, but the balloons are see-through. I'm sorry about that, guys. I didn't know, and I did not pay attention. And Maya's the one that grabbed them off the shelf. So it's okay. But anyway, we'll be all right here in a sec. You can also take one of their signs like this and my pods to Santa on it and use the little pom-pom ribbons to go all the way around it. That would look adorable. This is what I was going to, and I still may. We are. We're going to go ahead and my pods this Santa to this ornament. obvious I'm not going to fit this whole Santa on that I'm sorry for my dog in the background but she sees somebody new in the home she thinks that um, they need to take her out every time somebody comes in from downstairs from upstairs, I mean, she thinks they gotta take her out. All right, so we're gonna put my lodge on this. I know it gets bigger as we go down. Dog's hair is in it. All right, so as you can see, I put my budge. We're gonna take what we can, and we're going to put Santa's face right in it first. And as you can see, I did add it somewhere else. And this is a a bulb. Christmas ornament bulb, so it's going to be hard to keep your image straight and wrinkle free, especially in his face. And I'm trying to move it around gently so I don't rip his face or the nap yet. Now we got him up on top. Now it's time to do the bottom part. And I'm doing sections at a time just because I do not want it to wrinkle, which it's going to because of the, the way the bulb is round. This is where it's going to get tricky. And yes, I'm just letting it wrinkle up right there. Because once it gets tucked under, you can't tell really it's wrinkled. So now I'm going to go around and it ripped right there, doing it. Leave it alone, stupid. Okay. And that's why it ripped because it's still wet. All right, so now I'm going to let this dry and then we are going to seal it 
How do we put lights in it? Okay, so this is dry. I'm going to take my quick sander and I'm going to move downwards. This really releases. It takes off all the extra paper and it makes it smooth on the edge as well. And as you can see, it doesn't matter how big it is. I'm sorry, my horses came down. They're not really horses, the dogs. They sound like a bunch of cows trying to get through. Now, whoops, wrong side on it. All right, and then I'm going to take the little bit of Mod Podge, and we are going to go over from brush. I want to keep my same brush from my glue stuff like this. Okay, we'll take it to the edge. <laughs> Just because I want to make sure all my edges does not peel off. I want my image to stay on this. You don't want to go over it too hard because I don't want my image to get wet. But I am gonna have to add a little bit more. Sorry for that in the background. Okay, so we're going to put this aside and let this one dry. All right, now on these little things, these, they're not on there that good. So after you're done with it, you may want to put hot glue up underneath it and then put it back and then it will stay. All right, so... Our image on our bulb is dry. So we're going to take it as well and we're going to do the same thing. You're going to make sure your edges is all down flat so your image is not coming up off your bulb. Now you can add fairy lights to this and then put your battery pack, glue it on the top, and then put a ribbon, and then put your battery part in the back of your tree. And Santa will light up. I'm trying to get that up, but it be all right. Here we go. <laughs> All right, now we're going to set and let him dry as well. Now let's try. Okay, we can go ahead and add our second coat to this as well. And then we can set and let these pieces dry. Okay, so now we're going to put our second coat on to our um, muffin pan here that we're making this into. And this comes in a six pack at the Dollar Tree. I was shaking and I was like, I'm sure I was doing this 
Okay, now I'm going to let that, I'm going to hold it like this so I can get that side done. And we have a TV running in one room and a gamer in another room. So I'm sorry for all the noise in the background. I started filming late today, so everybody in the house was getting up when I started. And I apologize for that. All right, so we're gonna let this dry and we're gonna finish up our images. Somehow or another, this got knocked down again. Alright, so we're going to move all this stuff over. Uh, I'm going to leave this one as is. I'm going to put it on a tear tray or even set it up on my... I don't know why it's not laying flat down for some odd reason. Nope. Don't know. Okay, so now we are going to do... Alright, so I got a, let me see if I could, I don't know for sure if I'm going to do this. looks like. I'm just untangling the fairy lights. I'm going to drop them in there. I don't know if I want to do this. Well, like I said earlier, we can put the battery pack down inside or behind it. I'm sorry. Sorry, my head hit the light there. I'm just speeding through to the feeding the fairy lights down inside the ornament here so we can see if uh, Santa's going to light up. Got it here. Try to take the last twist out of it. All right. So now, and don't forget, I suggested putting. But we're gonna wait. 
Put a little dinky dot on your battery pack and just lay it down. Oh, look how pretty. And you'll see it better at the final review. You can also leave it on. All right, and then we're going to take this pretty good old ribbon. And then we're going to put it through the hole here. Okay, so this is DIY number one, number two, and three. Now for the fun part. These are two doll houses. They are spray painted, but I had noticed that the spray paint did not clearly get all of the door or all there's just some parts that I have noticed so what I'm going to do is take this nutmeg brown from apple barrel from the Walmart and I know it's not going to be a perfect match but it's okay um, I can make the door frame darker We're gonna tear the edges off right here that I went off a little bit on the sides here. Clean that off because it will just wipe right off as long as it's wet. Touch that up. That way it will all be brown. Alright, and this door, it's the back door. I'm just going to leave it like that. And this also did not get it. Which I'm hoping when we get done decorating it. Because it's been weeks since I have been waiting to do this project. It's been one thing after another. Either I couldn't find everything to do it with. Which I do have... Some gumdrops, some peppermints, and I also got these bubble stickers from the Dollar Tree as well. But I do have another, and I got some puffy paint, which I'm going to try to decorate and see if I can, uh, get my puffy paint to finally work right. These are brand new. I have never used them, but it has been <coughs> a while since I have received it. Okay, so we're going to take and I'm going to try to make it look like
I see. Ooh, I put my hands right in the wet paint. Okay, I'll touch it back up. Let me turn this around so I can do it from this side. Alright, so we're also going to go down each one of the seams. And it's okay. Um, that uh, some of the paint, like I said, we're painting it. And I do not do a good job with puffy paint. And if it drips, that's fine too. It's supposed to look like icy. over each window still with the icing. Try to do these little bit of designs. Get down. All right. Now we also want to go around the door frame, even if it is the open back door. All right, and we're going to flip it around to the side as well. And I wish our Dollar Tree will get this in. Um, I have not seen it at my Dollar Tree yet. Well, it's not my Dollar Tree, but... Oh. All right. That was the back side of the house we just done. And I should have done the front side first. around the, the door frame. is running out. Oh. Mm, <laughs> okay, so I done what I could do with the white I, <coughs> I believe I have ran out I'm going to tip it upside down but we have other colors that we could but I went all the way around so I think what we're going to do now is we're going to put some candies on it And not much, um, just a little bit. And these are meant to be ornaments. Just take your scissors 
and just cut really close to the and then you'll never know now I am just going to lay it into the puffy paint and I'm hoping it dries with the paint One of each color here. Okay, there we go. One of each color. And I kind of think we need to add some hot glue. I don't think it's going to stay in the paint. And I don't know if this is going to work together. I doubt it. But we learn on this channel. So if it doesn't work, I'll have to go back when the puffy paint dries and clean them off and redo it got to go around things anyway. I got glue and puppy paint there. But I think it kind of be all right. It's getting sticky and it's... Now Mike, can you get me a... Ooh, I just put my hands right in that puffy paint. I'm not used to working with puffy paint. All right, so this puffy paint is also watery. Give me two baggies, please, so I can put these all in it. Okay, these are also meant for ornaments as well, but you're just going to take your scissors and cut that piece off. You're going to put some hot glue, and then you're going to maybe, well, maybe, here we go. We're going to put them on top of the windows. Come on, stay up there. I should have got oh, some candy kids. I'm going to put one here as well. I'm going to put another one there. The gingerbread house was supposed to have it all candy and icing. way it goes it should be a pretty piece and like I said I will go back and clear all this extra glue and things off or will it slid off only there and it stays that's probably what I need to do here but I will go back after all this dries so my hands ain't touching a whole lot. And yeah. he puts plastic right up against my hot glue gun. Anyway, um, I'm going to take some of these stickers here from the Dollar Tree. They look like the button candies. And I'm just going to add some of these. On the side of the window. 
Now these are stickers. You get they should stick on this pretty well and stay. Um, if not, you don't trust that. Just go ahead and um, add some hot glue. But I think they'll stay. Usually I will take my finger as well and kind of touch up some of these windows. And I'm just making it. There we go. the way the stickers look so I'm going to continue that the rest of the way around and I am getting puffy paint everywhere And we have one that fell off. Okay, while I'm going around putting stickers, I am also um, doing touch up with my fingers with the paint, moving it around the windows more. It is just dripping like it's melting, which is a fine look. But at the same time, I'm trying to get it where it's not 
globby all over in one area. So I'm touching it up with my fingers. Stick of now because it's wet from the puffy paint, but I'm trying to put it on there anyway so it could dry with paint more glue type. As you can see, I got it all over now. I am not perfect, or do I claim to be. I make lots of messes when I'm crafting. Especially on my own hands. Okay. Mm. That might be why I don't have many subscribers yet. Is driving me crazy. And I will clear that up once this paint dries. I think I am done with this one. Nope, oh, I still got this side. And this will be a quick. I'm going to have to wash my hands before I can continue. After I get done messing with this paint. Alright, so. Just gonna take it up the sides because it's melting and it looks like it's dripping down the sides of it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go all the way around it. Thin it out. Okay. Put more stickers and then this one is completed. Okay, here is the gingerbread house. We're going to let it dry and hopefully. Will dry better, look better than what it looks. <laughs> 